Hey, what's up? I'm Guy. I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it and give this video a like if you like it. Podcast below in the description as well. Go check that out and share it with your friends. All right, John. How about this? Fred Couples has a show on Sirius XM Golf Channel, and he had um, he had Tom Brady on it, and they talked. This is what this is on March second. This is from Rick Stroud, who covers the Bucks. Couples says maybe you can tell us where you're going. Brady laughs. I tell you, I wish I had a clear vision of what the future holds, but I think for me. There's a lot of great things, a lot of great opportunities that I know I said right after football season, I was looking forward to spending time with my family. And I've done that the last five weeks. And I know there'll be a lot more of that too. So, you know, I'm staying super busy. That's for sure. Playing a little bit of golf. I'm actually going to see my parents tonight, which will be a real, real highlight for me on their turf. I'll be sleeping in the same bed I slept in when I was a kid. I don't think my mom knows I'm coming home yet. So it's just between my dad and I. Just a little bit of a surprise. So looking forward to that. Looking forward to some golf in the next few days and some more family time. And then we'll figure out where we go from there. Ooh, well, Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch are both in Indianapolis. So it's like, it's not like you would put the two and two together, right? No, only John Lynch is in Indianapolis. Kyle Shanahan stayed back in the Bay Area. I'm not trying to put on my tinfoil hat here. But and listen, it could easily be a, a family member's birthday. It could just be as simple as I'm Tom Brady. I'm retired. I need to see my parents more. You know, they're getting old. They're in age. My mom just she overcame cancer a couple years ago, right? She was battling. Mm -hmm. It just what kids do. I know. I try to head home to Davis every once in a while just to do a little FaceTime. It also could be a double whammy. It's like I get FaceTime with my parents and meet you for a cocktail somewhere secret at my Ooh. house. For some, for people not familiar with Bay Area geography, Tom Brady's parents live in San Mateo. The 49ers are in Santa Clara. It's about 27 minutes, uh, 27 miles. It's about 30 minutes, basically. Yeah. Is what it takes from there to there. And there's plenty of good places to meet secretly in between if you wanted to. <clears throat> I, I said for a while that Sean McVay and Kyle weren't exactly equals in terms of the no going in the combine. The Rams you know, just don't have any picks. And even his general manager didn't go. This one is still a pretty serious... And unlike the the 49ers, or excuse me, unlike the Rams, the 49ers have their starting quarterback they have to figure out a trade. Like, it's... Would you say one of the biggest stories of the combine so far has been Jimmy Garoppolo and his trade status and his injury the last yeah. couple of days? Yep. And so it's like John Lynch and Prague are on the ground floor trying to figure that out. You'd go, you know... Listen, and I saw John mention in the press conference that I, I call him in the morning, we talk at night, like Kyle can show up for Zooms. But it does feel like I, I'm not trying to – I don't think it's the craziest thing. Now, it's illegal, but as we know, when Tom got in trouble a couple years ago, he doesn't give a shit about the league rules, right? Remember he went over to Leftwich's house? Well, he went to the wrong house first, then he went to Leftwich's house. Yeah, that's how it and got it, out, actually. And if it wouldn't have been for you know that random rich resident – Colin, he told TMZ clearly. Told TMZ, right? yeah. It would be hard. You know, it's him saying this, like people in the Bay Area, if you knew where t his parents live, like they could just go over there and try to see Tom Brady, right? Yeah, or they could meet somewhere, right? There's mutual rich people who have secluded homes where they could meet at Edelman's house. Um, if Welker was around, they definitely would get together. But I think there's two parts to the couple's quote, right? One is, I'm going to be back home right now. I'm going to be in town where I grew up a 49er fan. The other is just the other stuff he says. I've said I was going to do family time, and I've done that. Guy, he, he put on a date. He's like, I've done it for the last five weeks, family time. Like, yeah, it's, it's is what it is, you know? <laughs> it's like one of those where you're like, uh, mom says you have to be nice to your brother or your sister. You're like, I'm being nice. I've been nice for two whole hours. Like oh, two hours, you just gotta keep being nice, son. You, you, you know? know what the comment is? If you if you're loving it, you know I, I haven't had this opportunity to spend this much time with my family, my wife, my kids. I, I just it's awesome. It's unreal. He just said, yeah, I've had five weeks with my family. <laughs> he had a date. Like he knew the exact time. He's like, this ain't for me. Oh, and we know that golf is not the thing that he's gonna do with all of his life. He has said that in the Wickersham book. You pointed that out the other day. And again, this is the guy who's talked forever about playing until he's 45 and he's not 45 right now. He's 44 and he has to know that he, he knows what we all know, which is he can still play the game in a really, 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 he was, he could have won the MVP this year, <laughs> yeah. 
right? At a really high level. And now Garoppolo is on his way out within a matter of weeks. He'll be on his way out. Let's just use a couple examples of just, obviously guys not on his level, but really famous quarterbacks who are involved in his generation who have tapped out the last 12 months. I guess Eli's been a little longer. Eli, Rivers, and Roethlisberger. If all three of those guys were playing at Brady's level, do any of them retire? No, I mean, Eli got got replaced by Gino for like a game. Roethlisberger held on for dear life till the bitter end. For right? dear life, and he got his farewell. And even Philip, you know, went and played one other place. Probably could have played another year. Could right? have. But it, you could tell it was, it was starting to trend. But had something else he really wanted to do with his go coach high school football, too. Yeah, which is something he had said. Like, Tom, I'm going to play till 45. I'm going to coach high school football, guys, when I'm done. I'm going to do that. Like, Philip has been saying that, I think, since he was like 10 years old. <laughs> It's like people's priorities change, things change, people change. But Tom had for t- for more than twenty years prepared himself for this moment, the moment where other players walk away. Now you could argue that moment came five years ago when Tom was still playing really well as a forty year old, a thirty nine year old, a forty one year old, a forty two year old, a forty three year old, a forty four year old. That he already has proven what he came out to prove. But the reason he did all of his TB twelve stuff was so that he could keep going beyond Tom versus time. Tom could win. And it's not time that retired Tom. It, we, th- you know, it just his wife. Like, come spend time with the family. And a little air. Maybe was he tired of Arians too? And maybe little Arians, as has been suggested. So I, I've, you know, you and I have both talked about this. Do you think Kyle and, Ch- and Tom would get along pretty well? Um, You know, like I, I don't necessarily think they'd be like Kyle and Mike McDaniel, like buddy, buddy um, in, in the sense that like they're lifelong friends forever, but I think they would like each other well enough. They'd have a, I think what Tom would appreciate is that Kyle can make the team around him better, which is what Tom always needs. Right. And it's just a foot. I don't, you feel like why, why ultimately his respect level for like Bill and Josh now, obviously, he spent a lot of time with Josh as offensive coordinator and Bill the whole time, but it was like their football, their acumen for football, and just their love of it. Like they were just the junkies on his level. Now, obviously, they yeah. couldn't play, but they could coach at that level. You would say Kyle is a junkies junkie when it. Comes I think they to would sport. have. Yeah, I think the respect level would absolutely be there. Because remember, like it took Peyton Manning forever, and then he met Adam Gase, and it turns out Adam Gase sucked. But the one thing Adam Gase had is like. This guy will just watch film for 20 hours. Peyton's like, I love this guy. You know? So it's just now, obviously, Kyle's a lot better than that. It would be, it'd be risky when I say risky in the sense like it, it'd be an interesting relationship to watch, but it, it could go really well. And, and the, obviously, he'd be a plug and play. I mean, if you put Tom Brady, are they immediately tied with the Rams, if, assuming Rodgers comes back and the Packers is like the teams to win the NFC? I think they might become the favorites, betting favorites at least. Yeah, they'd be up there. Because they were in the NFC Championship game this year. Yeah, they beat the Packers with Jimmy. Now, Tom Brady got beat by the, you know, the Rams beat both of them, so maybe the Rams would still be the favorites. But, but he came storming back, and Todd Bowles screwed him, right? He did. He did. Is it a no-brainer? I mean, if he says he wants in, he's in, right? It is a no-brainer, yeah. it's. I think it's a no-brainer to pursue him, and I am pro-Trey Lance, but... <laughs> 